Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Spring Mountain Motorsports Park Resort in Ferrump, Nevada. Did I say that right? Everybody says I pronounce Ferrump wrong. Is it Ferrump or Frump? I don't know. You guys tell me. I know you will, but I'm here a day early. We're going to have some really fun. So this is my intro a day early. We'll be back tomorrow to have some fun. And welcome back to morning one, day two here at Spring Mountain. We're gonna head in and get some breakfast and when we come back, uh, we're gonna be in a car. We're gonna be doing some driving, but first beforehand, uh, let me show you this room that we're staying in. It's absolutely amazing. All right, so while I'm eating breakfast, I will share with you guys just a little bit of the condo here. Restroom, gotta love it. Awesome place, really nice amenities. And then we'll come out here. Now we'll show you the closet here. Nice closet, pretty typical. And then out here is like a really nice desk area, nice flat screen TV. Mrs. Chevy dude comes yeah. with the room. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, but like a nice dinner table that you can have there, a nice couch, nice bed. Thank you, Spring Mountain. Thank you, Ron Fellows. They uh, gave me these nice shirts and pullover. We won't use this until a few months down the road in the winter time, but this is definitely something nice to have. Uh, this uh, nice chair, like a full kitchenette type thing, like huge, nice freezer. So if you're here like several days, like you go to the grocery store and like stock up and you can cook and I believe, I haven't looked in here yet, but I believe they have like, yeah, they have like all the glasses and dishes. So like, this is like a true apartment. Nice microwave oven. And then out here is the best thing. So we have this nice patio out here. So privacy, uh, which not all the rooms have this and then a great view of the racetrack. So if we're driving this part of the racetrack later today, We'll make sure we get some video of it. All right, guys, I told you I would get you right into cars. Well, I have chosen this Accelerate Yellow, and there's this nice shadow gray up here. You guys know I like shadow gray, but I met someone that I didn't know. Do you guys know this guy? This is Zach, and he has Corvette Direct YouTube channel, so he's got one of the first C8s as well. Link down in the description for Zach. What VIN number you got? Uh, 454. Oh, nice. For low yeah. number, low number, awesome. For C8? Uh, I had a C7. Or for C8, for C8. Is this your first C8, Zach? <laughs> yeah. First Corvette, there yeah. we go. I've had a C4, um, that's what my dad put it, put me in whenever I got my license, and then a C7 when I turned 25, I think about it. And how old are you now? 28. Awesome, I, I told you guys that the age on the C8 is gonna go down, so check out his channel. I didn't know Zach until today, so it's awesome that I can come out here and meet a YouTuber. Well, I actually commented that mic, when you bought the one without the battery, yeah. that I'm the one who said you should've got the Pro Plus that it hooks up to your phone. Oh, and look it? and look what I got. Yeah, look what I got. Yeah. Oh, you're the guy. I remember that yeah. comment I now. I tell you that earlier. Yes, and and I am so grateful because oh, man, I, I, I did it a whole vlog without my microphone on and I, I was in fear that I would not turn my microphone off. Mm -hmm. So yeah, got this nice, more expensive mic, which yeah. is so much better. All right, so the first test we're gonna do is emergency braking. This is really exciting because this is something that nobody ever practices. Everybody always practices that launch, that right foot, right? We always hit the right foot. We never test the brake. So this is a perfect example. So what we're gonna do is run down at 35 miles an hour, go through a bunch of water and slam on the brakes. And it's a perfect scenario in the event that you are in the neighborhood kid, dog, animal runs out in front of you. And I'll show you from my PDR and what a car does in front of me. He's gonna go full ABS right at those cones, uh, but that's not the only thing he's gonna do. He's gonna activate full ABS, and then he's gonna simulate like, uh-oh, I do not have enough distance to stop the car before I impact the object in front of me. 
So he is gonna make a lane change, okay? If you're making a lane change to the right, while he makes that lane change, he is gonna stay full ABS braking the entire time, maintaining control of that vehicle. He'll straighten it out into his lane and then he'll bring it to a stop, okay? So pay close attention to one, the wheels as they engage the ABS, but two, his steering input, okay? Watch how much input he adds to make this change. I'll step out of the way so you guys All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna run down there just like we did last time. And we're gonna watch JJ. He's gonna be at the end of the cones and he's gonna point right or left and we have to emergency brake and steer. If you didn't notice on the steering exercise, he doesn't move a whole lot. That instance where he spun the car out, that was where he overcorrected and moved a lot. So you remember I had the hydroplane, I corrected, and this class right here is why I did not wreck my C8. Hydroplane, Z mode, all that good stuff, because this stuff does pay attention and come to fruition in real life. And that's why you need to be here. All right, guys, let's see how good Corvette Direct Zach does. Hey, Zach, come on down. Really hit a cone. Hit a cone, Zach. Come on. Hard on that brake. Push, 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 push. Oh, oh we didn't hit a cone. Real Good job, Zach. Real smooth. Might be. Come on down. All right, here we go, guys. 35 miles an hour. I'm in manual mode. I'm looking straight ahead of him. Nothing else. Left. Small steering. All right. Really, really nice yeah so what i did was i let up on the brake at the end and i don't know why i did that because i knew i was safe all right guys this is the serpentine court so basically what this is doing is teaching you not to use your windshield. This first go around, they are having nothing on the windshield. And basically you can see right there that you go around, you're looking out the passenger and driver's side to cut that corner. He's a little far away from the cone there, but you wanna get as close to that cone as you can because that is simulating the apex on a corner of a racetrack. I've always been taught to not look out my front windshield when on a racetrack and this right here is a really good example not something we've ever done with corvette training so it's awesome to be out here as a consumer all right guys this is crazy look at that he's got a sunshade in the windshield and he's driving this course what an amazing absolutely amazing opportunity to learn how to drive a car look at that look at that sunshade in the window he's gonna drive all the way back with it all right guys, so I am up in one second after one more car goes. And I want you to watch me. I'm gonna do the same serpentine, right? We're done with the uh, nice. shade. Try to be a little here. lighter on the brake. See if you can drag the brake a little longer. My goal is to look here. I've never done that before. This is the first time I've done that. That was pretty interesting. A little scary, but very, very interesting gives you a whole different perspective when you're out on the track and that's what this is about that's what this is all about fun learning safety and being a better driver we'll talk about come on up mike all right boys here we go we'll just roll the window down we'll pull that sun shade out mike whenever you're ready all right here we go guys A little early on that first one, Mike. Go. Yeah, a little shallow, Mike. So you're starting to kind of get that tunnel vision going where you're only kind of focusing on the, you know, 
just about half the corner, so that was much better. There we go. All right, nice job, gentlemen. We got it. All right, guys. Well, that was a lot of fun. We are going to break for lunch. Yes, this was all done before lunch. So I got to tell you, it's actually a little stressful. It's a little overwhelming, but they warned us on that. And we can just kind of relax. We can be done and just go to lunch. And then we're going to come back after lunch and get on the track for some more fun. All right, so we are back from lunch. We're excited because we're gonna go full track mode. We're gonna hit that traction control button two times and go over to sports for the electronic stability control. So I'm really excited to go out there. We've only gotten like maybe 60, 65 tops. We've got younger people in our group, which is very helpful. We've got some experienced people in our group, which is very helpful. So we kind of pushed it just a little bit that they told us to hey, slow down. Let's just make sure everybody has safe. So now we're going to go out and have a little bit more fun. I'm trying to convince them to let me do a hot lap in the car by myself. We'll see what happens. So what we're doing is we're coming over here to the oval track and we're just going to practice going around the oval track, hit the apex cones correctly and uh, probably going to stay in third gear. So come along. On the PDR. Headlines there. Our first apex looking across to your next turning point. Looking to your left. Understeer. There you go. Looking across. Little uh, tri oval here. So tighten to the apex. Look for your turn in. Long sweeping left hander. Remember, we don't want to get to the inside too early there. We want to open that approach up. Almost like a G shape, kind of tightening up down to the apex. Looking for your turn in. Real soft, staying out, looking left. Just want to stay out a little further. Looking across for your turn in point. Back to your brakes, look left, turn it. There you go. Squeeze in. You can accelerate. Stay out until those cones run out, all the way out. Then turn it down to the apex. A little better, squeeze in, nice. We'll keep going on that. Look left. There you go, feed into it, making sure we slow the car enough there in that tight left hander. Looking better over here, nice and wide. All right, now that the uh, oval track was, uh, yeah, it was a success, I got some work to do, but uh, we're gonna go back out onto the real track now. Show you a couple laps or a lap or so of that from uh, either the PDR, I got a GoPro there, I got a GoPro inside. We'll get a couple good good angles. Mid-track, mid-corner, touch the throttle and then breathing out. 
All right, guys, I'm back at the condo, end of day one. Wow, was that intense. A little bit different um, than what I'm used to with Chevrolet. One of the improvements that they told me they did, they're testing this out on the c 8s is they put the demo lap at the end of the day. Now, I've been done for a while. Uh, the sun's about to set, and I have came back and I've watched my demo track. I watched the demo lap. I watched what the driver did. I watched his line. I watched the PDR. You saw I put the GoPro behind us so I could watch what his hands are doing, how he's turning. Um, one of the turns is called the dip and you go down real hard and the suspension uh, almost goes all the way out. Uh, and it's just, it feels like you're going airborne. It really does. Your stomach kind of sets up a little bit. And it's just really awesome feeling. But what they tell you to uh, make go straight over there and I could never get it straight and the confidence level wasn't there. So I've been watching this demo lap and wow, I, I've got some improvements to do tomorrow. So come back uh, tomorrow. If this video is already uploaded, it's gonna be at the end of this uh, outro of this video. But wow, what an amazing day. I can't wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing autocross and we're doing a few other things and I'm just gonna go all out, man. I'm giving you guys every aspect of the driving school because this is 100% worth it. I typically don't show the whole experience. I've never shown you the full National Corvette Museum, right? So I want you guys to go there and experience it. This I think is a little bit different. I want you to prep for this. I want you to understand for this. And a big prep, except, especially for my East Coast peeps, right? You need to drink a lot of water. You need to drink a lot of water three and four and five days prior to. Make sure you hydrate out here. It's 110 degrees out here today, guys. Um, it's hot. Your body soaks it up. I've been doing nothing but drinking. I've probably drank a gallon and a half of water today, and I feel absolutely fine, not dehydrated, and that's going to make for a better driving experience for you. And uh, when it comes to the demo lap, you're not going to get sick or anything like that. Very few people get sick, but it's happened, and I don't want you to have that experience. So, guys. Thanks again for watching. Wait for day two. It'll be here uh, on the screen right there. And once it's uploaded, and as always, thanks again for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.